two months ago, uh, Britain stood almost on the edge of overwhelming disaster. The confidence of the world in the value of the British pound was rudely shaken. We were in danger of seeing wages and earnings of every kind lose a large part of their purchasing power and a ruinous collapse would have followed if it had not been for the courage of Mr. Ramsay MacDonald and a few uh, of his socialist colleagues and uh, for the patriotism of the leaders of other parties. Well, the emergency government has succeeded in stopping the rot, but the national task cannot be completed until the whole world is assured that the electors are behind a widely based national government. That is the real issue of the election. The placing in power of the socialist opposition would inevitably lead to a further financial crisis involving fearful risks to the homes of our people and to their earnings. But if we stand together in support of the Prime Minister, the steadiness and the resolve of Britain can be made manifest in the face of the world. Remember, our destinies are in our own hands. If we failed, the fault would not be in our stars, it would be in ourselves. But by avoiding all party rivalries, and concentrating on the defeat of the forces that would wreck Britain, we can promote the future of our trade, the standard of our livelihood, the credit of our country. Let us give to the Prime Minister a firm mandate in the name of the whole nation to take whatever steps are necessary to rebuild Britain and to restore her prosperity. <laughs>